but today we're gonna achieve this look What I'm going to do right away is prime my face. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Primer. I've been really loving this primer lately. If you don't know, I have oily skin. So this Matte Plus Poreless, it's like two in one. Not only it's gonna mattify my skin, but it's also gonna reduce the appearance of pores, which is great. I just add it to my T-zone, which is my forehead, my nose, my chin and my cheeks i start by tapping it into my skin as much as possible so it really penetrates my pores instead of you know applying it like a lotion so i tap it while slightly dragging it on my skin but i want to do a little project pan um i've seen this going around and i was interested because babes i have so many foundations so many eyeshadow so many products basically so many uh, makeup products that i'd like i would like to use up and now i feel like my goal is to finish these foundation by the end of this year um 2024 so there's four months left so that means that i will only be using this foundation this foundation i'm saying these because i have two shades <sighs> i don't know if it's possible but we'll see it's the elf um flawless finish foundations to be honest i really love this foundation i don't see a lot of people talking about these foundations but yeah my goal is to to be done with this foundation so i think in the next couple of my videos this might be the only foundation i'm going to use project pan okay project pan and um i have the shade chocolate and the shade muscade nutmeg nutmeg there's also the name in french this one is right here so it's half done i just shaked it so it's not showing up but you can see a little bit the, the mark the demarcation mark so the shade nutmeg is almost done this one i've bought it because i wanted to mix it in so i could create the perfect summer shade but this is my shade um in the winter i wanted to try this kind of cushion <laughs> i'm laughing because this is stupid but anyways i want to try these kind of st not stupid what no 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 not stupid that's not what i meant i want to try this little cushion foundation brush usually these are supposed to be used with um cushion foundations but i want to see how it's gonna work with liquid foundation so we'll see I'm going to apply this with a flat brush I love the smell. This foundation has fragrance in it. Anyways, I'm gonna carve out, clean up the top of my brows using uh, this foundation. Okay, let's see how this is gonna work out. Hmm. Hmm, not bad, we got it. It's the sound for me. It's giving is here more next i'm going to use my l'oreal infallible concealer to contour and kind of bronze i'm using the shade uh, 430 mocha and 445 espresso i'm gonna put one dot of the mocha shade because it's more cool one dot okay maybe two dots and then this one i'm gonna do this much gonna put what's left on my nose I'm gonna go in with my first conce concealer shade which is the Colourpop um, that I used on my eyelids earlier and uh, why do I use two concealers because the first concealer shade is very close to my skin tone meaning that I'm using it to correct mostly so under my eyes hmm it's pretty light, eh? Well, this is usually more close to my skin tone in the winter. This summer, I don't know what it was with the sun, but I've never been more tan than this, except when I was like 10 years old, 12 years old, because the way I tanned this summer and I was barely outside, I don't know if, if that happened to you guys as well. I'm not mad at it, it's just, adjusting my makeup other than that i really love my tan this summer i hope to also 
finish this concealer by the end of this year. I think I'm gonna keep these close so I can be done with it. So what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to blend this out using my e.l.f. Camo sponge. Great sponge. I, I didn't use it in a long time and when I used it again last week, I forgot how good it was and I used to use it all the time. So it's back. <laughs> Next, I'm using uh, some liquid blush. And to make it more folly, I will be using an orange blush, but I'm going to mix it with a coral shade blush. I'm using today uh, the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blushes. The orange one is in Gorge Orange, and coral one is in Coral Crush. I'm gonna use a dot of each. I'm going to put orange here. <laughs> There's a little drip on my shirt. Oh my God, these are so pigmented. It stained my shirt for real. Yeah, so stippling this into my skin. Let me take a sip of my coffee in my little Au Pied du Courant <laughs> cup. Au Pied du Courant is a place in Montreal and it's free there. You can get there for free before. So why am I saying this like anyone from Montreal is watching me? If there's anyone from Montreal or Quebec for that matter of fact, watching this, leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. I'm drinking iced coffee, melted, like it's not freezing cold outside. It's 11 degrees Celsius, 11 degrees Celsius, and I turned it on in um, Fahrenheit because I was talking to my cousins in the United States and it's 56 degrees Fahrenheit. We're in the beginning of September. Like it's way too early, way too early for this cold. I said that with so much passion, I need to calm down. Anyways, to highlight my face, I'm using, um, to, to bring more brightness, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Oh, sorry, baby, babes, I'm sorry. I kicked my little puppy. Babe, Mimi, it's okay. I'm gonna let her out of the room, hold on. I feel bad, I did not know she was under the table. Um, So like I was saying, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This concealer, I like it so much. I don't know, but it's in the shade Tear. Tear. What's going on? It's in the shade 10 Fair. This clair pour mes francophones, okay? Donc, uh, I like this concealer. This was the concealer oh no this is way too light oh my god i'm shook i'm going to use a concealer brush so i make sure it's not gonna ex not expand but how you call this it's not gonna what's the concealer i used before ew the color of concealer is kind of creasing a lot it's normal for a concealer to crease but that much though color pop wow well, we're gonna have some issues if i wanna project fan this concealer because Hey girl, she's back. Okay, let's blend this out. I'm gonna try to keep this. Okay, let's set it. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Powder. And I finally found a way to um, make it work for under my eyes. And basically it's going with the littlest, littlest amount under my eyes. So this apparently is a baking powder, I think. Oh no, it's a setting powder. Okay, that makes sense. I always thought that it was a baking powder, but basically I go in with the littlest amount and it sets my under eyes beautifully. My error before it was going in with a lot. Uh, you can do that with the Huda Beauty with the one size, the Laura Mercier. But this one, you really need to be careful and not go in with a lot. And then tap it again, just to make sure there's any left. Glad I found a solution because I have two of these powders and it was basically wasting because I hated it so much. Not hated it, but I didn't like it that much. I'm not gonna exaggerate, but yeah. But now I'm glad to pick it up and use it. Aussi pour les Montréalais qui, qui me regardent, allez-vous regarder Occupation Double cette année? Fait qu'aujourd'hui on est le 8 septembre, on est dimanche. So I will be watching the red carpet. Je vais regarder le tapis rouge d'Occupation Double cette année. Je suis pas les épisodes to the T depuis la fois qu'il euh, y a eu euh, le bullying. 
l'intimidation. Je pense que c'est le pompier. Je pense qu'il s'appelait Jonathan, le pompier. Et ever since, je suis moins. Mais je regarde quand même, tu vois. Laissez-moi savoir. Allez-vous suivre Occupation Double cette année? I'd love to know. Occupation Double, what it is, basically, it's like kind of a show. It's a dating show. So yeah, that's a Quebec show. What was I doing? Okay, now I need to set the rest of my face. To set the rest of my face, I will be using a Maybelline Fit Me. This powder. I've been talking about it. I love to use it under my eyes to set my concealer in a brighter shade. I use the shade 310 Sun Beige to set under my eyes, but for the rest of my face, I'm juggling between 365 and 355. Of course, 365 during the summer, it's darker, and I love this powder. Like, it's so cheap and it works very well. I'm also going to use this powder to set my nose contour, so it's less harsh. Next, I'm using a product that you already know I need to use. I need to use it. It's my Glamour Bronzer from Morphe. It's a bronzer. I don't know what was wrong with Morphe to discontinue this product, but luckily for me, this pan is so big, I have like forever to use it. <laughs> I've been using it religiously for the three past years, and look, no dent. Use as well my um, Juvia's Place powder bronzer, the duo thing but i don't use it a lot because it's juvia's place and you if you don't know in canada um they don't carry Ju juvia's place in drugstore for blush i'm using the sephora blush love this blush so much it's in the shade tiger lily all right so this completes my first fall look of 2024 i really hope you liked this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and join the squad i love you <laughs>